Good morning. So, uh, I'm out here at a new property. Uh, up the country. See, nice and big, open. Well, it's super open, but fairly large yard. Sitting right next to a creek, actually. So, uh, I didn't want the front done quite yet. Right now, all they're looking for is the around the garage. Holy smokes, I better watch myself over here. Wow. So they want it done back here. Problems, like I said, I told him. It's, as long as you don't want trimming, it's not going to be too bad. But as soon as you want trimming around all those trees, oh. but he didn't want that, so that's fine. Hi, puppy dogs. And he says that his dogs are really friendly, and they'd really like to be pets. Hi. Hi, you. You. Come here, pet. Hi. Hi, you. Hi. Yes, sir. <laughs> so he told me I should pet the dogs and they'll probably start stop barking. Oh, yeah, this is not bad. Very nice property, actually. I like this barn. And, oh, sure would like to live out, out in the country. But... Pretty simple yard. Comes all the way up there. But we're not, like I said, we're not doing the front today because he says he, he doesn't think it needs it right now. So he wants to wait another couple weeks. He's on a bi weekly cut schedule. Um, actually, it's not that bad. I could definitely cut it right now. But he wants, he's more interested in the other stuff. Right now, so I will set you guys up in a spot. I'm not sure where, maybe on the tractor. And, uh, and we'll get to cutting. But again, I'm not sure where I'm going to set you up. So uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to talk to you guys again, but uh, here's some mowing footage. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Bye. So, uh, I wanted to set you guys up for this yard, but I just wasn't able to. Uh, there's too many trees in the way, and I just I couldn't find a good spot to set you guys up. And putting you uh, in the moor with me just it just wasn't working. Bouncing around. Uh, keep in mind, they didn't want any trimming, so don't knock my edge my edges. Um, like right here, obviously, I'm not going to go down that far with the, the moor. I don't even know how far I'd go with the, the trimmer. Same with this. You know, I could have gotten better, but that's what happens. You need a trimmer. And they don't want trimming, so it's fun. And here's where I saw that snake earlier. I don't know if that footage was captured, but it's a garter snake. I don't see too many garter snakes. <laughs> Uh, when I live in, obviously living in the city, but uh, Manitoba is home to the largest um, snake congregation. I th I'm not sure what it is, but there, there's so many, there's millions or hundreds of thousands of garter snakes anyways. They all meet in a cave in Manitoba and they, they, they den together for the winter and then they mate in the spring. So while there aren't a lot of snakes in Manitoba, there are definitely garter snakes and uh, but yeah, thankfully no, no poison. So the rest of the yard, there's the puppy dogs. This was 
not so fun. Since there's a lot of sticks, debris. But yes, your yard is done for today. So I'm going on to my next yard and then uh, I might get some footage to that. I'm not sure. It should be pretty easy to put it to that one. No trees in the way. I only have to set the camera up really in one spot. So, so uh, we'll see you guys back in a bit. Talk to you later. Bye. Good morning. So, um, I never did uh, get any video yesterday. Uh, I was going to record, but it just busy. I'm trying to work and I forgot. So, um, I'm going to try and get some here today and we'll see what happens. Talk to you guys later. Bye. So, um, um I got my yard. In case you're wondering how I store my tractor. Pretty simple, I know, but you know what? Really effective, and uh, I've shown you in previous videos how I have the track truck kind of blocking the, the trailer so no one can move the trailer, so it protects it from the elements and it's not going to get stolen, and no one even knows what's under there, so it's actually pretty effective. Until I get a shed, that is. So, yeah!
six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have me, Sacred Stone. <laughs> oh, this new crazy mother...
and so that's that. Um, my own yard, my own crappy duplex yard. Um, I mean, it's, I love my yard, don't get me wrong, it's not like I love it, but I love it because it's mine, if you guys know what I mean, like, it's just like I was telling my wife yesterday, like, I love, I love being in my house, because it's my house, I own it, I'm not renting it, I'm not, I'm not making payments to someone else to just, uh, keep my life in limbo, like, I own, we own our house, and it feels great to spend time in a place that just is your castle, and that's how I, that's how I look at it. That being said, I'm not going to stripe it. <laughs> I am not going to stripe my yard, especially when we're actually just going to be laying a bunch of uh, seed and it's like a manure seed kind of mix. My mother-in-law, she, my in-laws live next door. Just a coincidence. Um, no, they didn't sell us this house or this side or anything. It's just my wife wanted to buy this side when it went for sale because she grew up there. Now you know my life story. But yeah. It's not much to look at, but it's cut. And uh, we'll be laying a bunch of stuff down tonight or tomorrow. So it doesn't really matter if it's striped anyways. So. Oh, man. Looks like I missed a little hump there in the middle. Well, that's what happens when you got a big big tractor and you got a big dip in the middle you're gonna gonna miss a little bit there but oh well okay guys thanks for watching see you back next time um hopefully next time it'll be an interesting yard uh i plan on getting that big yard out in the country filmed properly um i, get, I plan on getting my parents placed filmed properly uh at least two or three other four other yards after that that i'd like to film for you guys yet so uh yeah thanks for watching i know it wasn't much but uh it was something right <laughs> okay thanks for watching see you back next time talk to you later bye Thank you.